Hey, what's going down? This is Justin. I am doing my first official fragrance review online. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a review on the House de Tat Libre de Lange. I think I said that right. And this one is for the fragrance none other than La Fin du Monde. As you can see, you got me looking, it's right up here. La Fin du Monde, the end of the world. You really can't go wrong with this one. This one really does go in the direction of Baccarat Rouge. The first thing I, that this reminded me of was Baccarat Rouge right when I smelled it. And so since we're on the same page, I'm gonna go through the notes of this because all the fragrance reviewers seem to be doing this. So here it goes. This is a woody aromatic fragrance uh, for women and men. La Fin du Monde was launched in 2013. The Nose behind this fragrance is Quentin Beige. The fragrance for features popcorn, carrot seeds, cumin, sesame, black pepper, freesia, vetiver, Haitian vetiver, I know that, sandalwood, ambrite, musk mallow, iris, styrax, and gunpowder. Uh, I gotta admit, I don't really get any of those right off this because I'm not great at, at initially smelling the actual notes that are in these fragrances. What I do is I usually get the, a sensory story of my own and then I make my own interpreta interpretation of that. And my skin also makes that interpretation for me as well. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible how it does that. This does dry down a little bit on the skanky side, it, on me at least. My skin does dry down a little bit more animalic than most I've noticed and uh, my skin really does bring out animalics. Um, I'm not going to go into the presentation of all this because you guys can see it. Um, if you guys want to know more, you guys can always go on their website and check it out. Um, Etat Libre de Lange, as you can see right there. But yes, this definitely goes in the direction of Baccarat Rouge. And in my opinion, a not as bitter version, but this does dry, dry down much more bitter than the Baccarat Rouge, I've noticed. Um, it is extreme, uh, much cheaper than Baccarat Rouge, and I actually, I actually love the story behind La Fin du Monde. Um, there's a, a lot of cool uh, pop culture icons um, as far as this is concerned. These are awesome, uh, the Masters of Horror uh, segments, La Fin du Monde was my favorite one in the series. I think that's in the first one, uh, the first series of it. It's awesome, but this is not a horror. This is not a uh, one of those kind of reviews. So moving on. This is such a good one. I'm really excited that this one hasn't been discontinued uh, on the U.S. side yet. It is driving me nuts because I am eagerly trying to hunt down and find ones that are slight, slowly disappearing. I was able to track down Meles of the 1970s. I was able to track down anti-heroes. Um, and I was able to track down um, Eloge du Trader. Don't know if I said that right. Um, Eloge du Trader and the, yeah. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my first fucking review. Um, I don't get any of those notes with this, really. Um, I The first thing that I really kind of smell, I guess, is the carrot seeds, um, because that really kind of bursts out at me. I mean, it has definitely that has that bitter, that bitter twist to it, and it does dry down really kind of skanky on me. Um, it does have that, that twist to it, that like kind of like, yeah, there's some, some people died <laughs> when he sprayed this motherfucking fragrance, that's for sure. Um, but I gotta hand it to, uh, to the, uh, the, uh, the creative director of the, ho of the house. Um, um, Etienne, I think his name is, I can't remember off the top of my head and you'll have to forgive me. Um, 
but uh, I really, really appreciate his creative direction and where he is going with this. Um, and with this whole fragrance house, it's really inspiring. Um, and it's, I really, I think there should probably be more polarized fragrance houses out there like him. Um, there are a few that I've heard of, but um, you know, we can get to all that together. I'm not gonna do an unboxing video because it's an unboxing video. You'll see the box displayed up here, um, and you'll definitely see this collection start to accumulate. Um, however, I am going to do my next review on Moth and Rabbit line. Stay tuned. We'll